here we are on the Bibbulmun track and we're at Ball Creek Shelter and I've just had five glorious days immersed in the flora and fauna of the WA bush. The Bibbulmun track had its origins back in 1972 when Jeff Schaefer of the Perth Walking Club went in to see the Minister for Forests and put a proposal for a long distance walking trail. The Minister passed this on to the Department of Forests and they started drafting a proposal for a long distance track. It became a potential track from Kalamunda on the outskirts of Perth down to Albany. The eventuality was a track that went from Kalamunda and extended as far as Northcliffe and this track was opened in 1979. That coincided with WA's 150th anniversary celebrations. Now the name Bibbulmun Track comes from a subgroup of the Noongar people, the Bibbulmun. Their area extended from Durin Bay down to Esperance and west to the coast. And they used to walk long distances through this area and it was seen as an appropriate name for the track. And this name was embraced enthusiastically. In the late 80s, the Woggle symbol was adopted as a track marker. The Woggle is the Dreamtime creator spirit of the Aboriginal people. You'll find the little black serpent on a yellow triangle marking where the track is passing. The next most important point in the life of the track was when a West Australian, Jesse Brampton, came back from walking the Appalachian Trail in the US. Jesse walked the bib track, as it became known, and was disappointed in the lack of signage, the poor toilet facilities, the lack of water, the poor facilities for the duration of the track. So he went to see the minister and said, look, what can we do about it? And they ended up putting together a plan modelled on the Appalachian Trail in America and also looked at extending it from uh, Northcliffe right round to Albany. So a team got together and they planned a new route for the track because one of the things that Jesse noted was that the track went through a lot of gravel roads and it didn't immerse the walker in the bush. And the new trail only took in 20% of the old Bibbulmun track and went from a Calamunda and much of that starting point is the same down to Northcliffe, Walpole, Denmark, Albany. And it's now the 1000k track that we know it is now. There's 49 campsites on the track with shelters and places to pitch a tent, good water and it goes through many towns so it's easy to resupply. Many of the shelters on the track were built by low security prisoners. When it was looked at building the track the cost of the shelters was quite high and the prisons department came on board and prisoners would prefabricate shelters in the prisons and then come out into the bush and erect them. The prisoners also helped with track repair and setting up the track and making it the easy to traverse track that we know now. The first shelter built on the track was at Worley, often pronounced by the Aboriginal name Wallich, meaning place of the eagle. This shelter was recently upgraded to expand its accommodation. In 1997, the Bibbulmun Track Foundation was formed and volunteers from the foundation maintained the track, providing signage maintain the shelters and also offer advice to walkers. There's many ways to walk the track, whether it's by sections or end to end, or by assistance from companies such as Inspiration Outdoors in supported walks. Today, many thousands of people get out and enjoy the Bibbulmun track, fulfilling Jeff's dream that people would get out and enjoy the bush. I look forward to seeing you on the track someday too.